Randy decided to return to the alchemist. No sooner was he heading back when his mouth caught fire. Ah! What are those alchemists doing to me? First the elixirs, potions, brews, and smelly concoctions. Then the illustrator. Then the 31-pronged spider. Now a flaming mouth. They want to hurt me, not help me. Chemotherapy can give you terrible sores in your mouth. It will hurt to talk or swallow food. But for our story, Burf Burkett Boofer causes the flames. <laughs> Randy has a boofercated uvula. Cool, huh? True story. The word's actually bifurcated, but for our story, it's boofercated for Burkett Boofer. Hearing Randy's cries for help, Sadie, captain of the Strength Warriors, returns. It's not the alchemist, Randy. It's Burkett Boofer shooting flaming arrows. You have the power. Use your illustrator against him. No, I'm too weak. No, I'm exhausted. No, oh, I'm tired of fighting. No, no, no. Randy, you are not alone. You have the strength of 100 warriors because you have the love of your family and friends with you always. Boofer will not win. Randy douses himself with 17 root beer floats to cool his mouth and prepare for battle. We counted 17 root beer floats that our son drank while he had his first round of mouth sores. Burkett Boofer wearing a root beer float bouffant. Randy, fueled only by root beer, ice cream, and jello, fought off Burkett for six days. Finally, the flames were drowned. Randy won this round. Notice the illustrator shooting off brown stuff. You can imagine where that idea came from. The illustrator was beaten. Randy was bruised. Nothing that a little duct tape and band-aids can't fix. Back in the OAK, Oakland. The center form scanner shows some B cell gloop disappearing. Yay, says Randy. Randy, it's time to return to the elixir baths. Aw, oh, nuts. 